Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle video. And today we are going to be talking about who you should be limit breaking from level 60 to level 70 using the brand new and limited material, the Mystical Fauna. If you guys didn't know already, in this update, they did add a brand new limit break for every single adventure and assist so that you can limit break them from 5 to 6 and therefore uncapping the level from level 60 to level 70. And of course, like I said at the start of this video, you do need a brand new material called the Mystical Fauna in order to do so. However, there is only one way to get this Mystical Fauna and you can only get one of this material right now in the game. And that is of course by going into the event and going into the item exchange and of course I've already collected mine but if you want to collect yours, you have to go to the very bottom and you can see right there it costs 10,000 medals and or 10,000 coins depending on what you call those silver things basically in order to get one of these faunas so of course it is an extremely limited material and of course as a result of that you have to be very specific in how you're going to use this mystical fauna so in this video we're going to be doing exactly that we're going to be taking a look at all the units that i feel are best suited to use this mystical fauna and if you should even use it right now or save it so of course if you guys go on to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more Don Machi and other Don Machi Battle Chronicle content and let me know in the comment section down below which unit did you guys use your mystical fauna on if you have already used it and if you haven't used it and you're still waiting to see who you're gonna use it on who are you gonna use it on let me know in the comment section down below i'm actually very curious to see what you guys have to say down below now let's talk about who you should be limit breaking from five to six and uncapping the level from 60 to 70 and of course we have to talk about first and foremost whether you should be even limit breaking an adventure or limit breaking an assist before we get into any specific character or anything of that sort this is i think the first point of discussion that we need to you know actually talk about and consider because what should you choose an adventure or an assist which of the two is likelier to get power crept and in all honesty at this point in time we realistically don't know however that being said though if we take the example of say danmachi memoria freeze in that situation, adventurers would get power crept more often than assists. Assists would go on for like a year, year and a half before they would get replaced. So in that situation, of course, if we were playing Don Mimo and this happened in that game, of course, right? I would probably advise more players to potentially limit break their assists first and foremost because it is far better to limit break an assist because one the rarity of assists are a little bit lower than adventures in Don Mimo and second of all they tend to last far longer than adventures do in that game of course right so in the meta in pvp and so on and so forth so of course in that situation assists would be a far better option in Don Machi Battle Chronicle however I don't know realistically which is going to last longer based on the last couple of units released and everything right i'd probably say that assists may survive a lot longer than adventure as well just like dan mimo and it'll take far longer to power creep the assist side of things compared to the adventurer side of things but it's too early to judge to be quite honest and as a result i cannot really determine whether or not it's better to you know limit break an adventure or an assist to be quite honest my gut instinct would say that yes an assist would make more sense Purely because, of course, the fact that, you know, they are going to last longer just based on Dan Mimo's track record and generally based on their skills and everything, right? Because right now, if you look at a general assist right now, right? Let's say, for example, you look at a unit like Lily, for example, right? And you take her to level 10 effectively at this moment in time. The skills on these assists at this moment in time are arguably very basic right they give a certain percentage increase to a certain stat on their passive in lily's case it's a 30 percent increase to strength 22.5 percent increase to magic and 15 percent stamina increase to self right so you have these three passive skills and then if you look at the assist skill you know we get of course a attack multiplier of 360 percent and then you get a 40 percent strength increase as well which is really 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 nice of course right but that being said you know at the end of the day 
is is the next assist going to have something like a 600% attack multiplier and a 100% strength increase? Is that going to be the next step? And if the next step isn't that, what is the next step? Is it going to be a huge jump like this or is it going to be somewhat of a like a, just a small step up like this, right? Where it may go up to like the next unit, maybe 400% attack multiplier and 50% strength. In that sort of situation, I wouldn't necessarily say that you should be going for that unit, to be quite honest, because Lily will still do a bang up job in that position, right? It's the same thing, basically. It's just you're missing out on a 40% attack multiplier and a 10% strength increase. So I think that's also something to consider is like, how are assists going to scale up in the near future? Because so far, the only replacement assist we've seen so far, arguably, is Summer Mikoto, right? Summer Mikoto effectively can take the role of, I guess, Chigusa or Hephaestus, depending on how you look at it. And of course, has a different, uh, you know, additional effect on her assist skill, right? Being able to increase the damage received by the enemy, of course, right? Which gives her a huge benefit. So... It's going to be very interesting, but at this moment in time, I would say that adventurers are more likely to get power crept compared to assist because there's more you can change with adventurers and it's very likely that they might change a lot of things in the near future more extensively, introduce more things. Like, I mean, Summer Lily, for example, probably the best speed unit in the game right now, has a completely new effect in her kit with the field effect, uh, you know, uh, shenanigans that she does, of course, right? Which makes her a fantastic candidate as well, in my personal opinion, for a limit break as well because of what she's capable of doing. Um, so for me, you know, I would say that obviously in that regards, maybe, you know, limit breaking and an assist wouldn't be necessarily a bad idea. However, I would probably save if you aren't, uh, you know, decisive and, un you know, you're still unsure on who to limit break an adventure or an assist. I would just save at that point to be quite honest i would definitely save at that point and to be quite honest if you don't have the right adventures i would just save to be quite honest i i'm being real about it and probably i'm going to be doing the same thing as well is i would just save the mystical fauna at this point in time right now based on my adventures and assists the only unit i'm considering level 17 is probably Lily, and that's because I actually have her at one Awakening Star. I managed to get a dupe for her very recently, of course, on the Summer Mikoto banner, so it makes sense for me to potentially consider her as an option, purely because she has a dupe, and of course, she is probably one of the best assists in the game, right? So, for me, Lily makes a lot of sense. That being said, though, I am still a little unsure, and therefore, I'd rather just save my Mystical Fauna at this moment in time because we don't know when is the next time we're gonna get a Mystical Fauna and if it will become a common material, of course, right? If it's anything like Princess Connect or even Eminence in Shadow, from my understanding, is that over time, these materials will become super, super common and they'll be easily accessible. So this Mystical Fauna right now, while it does seem very scarce, and of course we only have one of these materials, I feel like inevitably it's going to be something we get like every other day, basically, if not every day, basically, right? And this may be three months down the line, four months down the line, who knows? But it will happen inevitably, I feel at least, personally. So that it, that, that is something to consider. Actually, one thing I want to actually check, and this is something I'm actually very curious on. Can I actually... I can't access it right now. I wanted to actually check if... Uh, if there was a mystical fauna on the very hard stage of uh, you know the latest story because you know obviously if you guys didn't know already if you do the very hard stages right now you get all encompassing fauna but I'm curious if they'll start adding it maybe to the more recent story seasons that they add maybe or if they add any new chapter or anything will that be the very hard reward instead of the all encompassing fauna we'll have to wait and see on that front of course right anyways um that's besides the point um of course i just wanted to add that point about potentially how mystical fauna may become common in the near future but right now for whales and free-to-plays alike we only have one so you have to be very very cautious in who you're using it on now to be quite honest like i said earlier on I don't think any of my adventurers are worth using the Mystical Fauna on, to be quite honest. As much as I love Lafia, don't get me wrong, a part of me really wanted to use it on her, to be quite honest, because she is my main DPS unit. I don't think she's necessarily worth it immediately, to be quite honest. I think there are better units to consider using it on. And I think the best unit you can use it on right now is, of course, 
green eyes i mean that's obvious i think that is the most obvious unit you can use it on right now because of just how strong she is i would highly recommend using uh using it on her if you have her of course right because i think she is the best option you have in all honesty when it comes to any dps adventure to be quite honest you could probably use it on bell as well i don't think people would be uh you know too amiss in using it on bell i thought bell was on top i don't know why he's at the very bottom of the field guide but you can use it on bell as well i think bell is also a fantastic option as well he is a very strong uh, adventurer so it makes sense to use it on him however i think a lot of people will probably find it better to use it on a blue unit and the reason why i say to use it on a blue unit is of course one you have the raid battle right which is of course going to be super super helpful of course for the raids that you are doing and stuff right but second of all ignoring the raid ignoring everything of that sort event ranking you could use it on a blue unit in for the event ranking so that you can get a higher position of course i assume in the next event we're gonna get another mystical fall nut just like we did in this event right just like we did in this event where we got one mystical fauna the next event or the next part of the tokimeki orario summer adventure event we will probably get another mystical fauna so of course you can use one on a blue unit of your choice a blue adventurer of your choice that is of course right you could use it on tiona you could use it on summer lily or you could use it on summer harahime now personally the way i would probably do it as i'd use it on either tiona or summer lily more so summer lily to be quite honest personally because i feel like summer lily will last a little bit longer especially for the mono blue team and then of course last i would probably put summer harahime cassandra is not an option i would I wouldn't necessarily limit break any supporter unit in my personal opinion at this point in time. That that is not valuable at all. What you should be working on is the DPS units and your speed units primarily, I would say. Or even your tank units of course, but w w when I'm talking about the blue units there's only DPS and speed units. I would recommend using those two because their DPS strengths are pretty darn solid and Harime is not a bad option if she's your only option as well. That is absolutely fair and you will find use in it of course for the event ranking anyways, right? But yeah, that's that's why I feel like even a blue unit is not the worst idea right now in order to get a higher position in the event ranking of course right i think it's a fair shout and it's something that you can consider doing in order to basically get a better score now of course i wouldn't recommend upgrading your ssr tione or tiona to be quite honest do not use your limit break material on the ssrs or srs of the game i mean if you want to feel free i'm not gonna stop you but my recommendation is don't <laughs> just don't avoid that entirely that is not worth it of course right um but yes i would recommend primarily eyes i think eyes is your best bet to be quite honest i i don't think there's anything amiss there that is your best option to go for to be quite honest eyes is like up here then i would probably say your blue units come here and stuff and then bell and stuff like that because in all honesty i genuinely do believe that effectively the blue units will come in handy for the event ranking which will help you out tremendously when it comes to of course the event ranking of course right now and then of course eyes is just going to be universally fantastic right so that is also something to consider but let me know in the comment section down below who do you guys think you'll go for in the comments let me know i'm very curious to see what you guys have to say of course if you've already used it let me know who you guys used it on um of course this video was just to try and guide you guys in a certain direction of course uh, you know I, I feel like a lot of people may be confused on who should they be 17 at this point in time or if they should be 17 at this point in time anyways personally i think unless you have eyes or a blue dps unit i think you can kind of just wait and uh you know save it uh for a potential future unit because right now we don't know how often we'll get the mystical fauna of course i think three to four months down the line it'll be a super common material this is how they normally do these things whenever we get uncaps and stuff like that they inevitably add these materials more commonly over time and it's super accessible right now however it's only one for everybody in the game right now so we'll have to wait and see but yeah thank you guys all so much for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel for more danmachi and other related danmachi battle chronicle content and of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.